right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs as the strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve. He will get better, and recently he has been back on the upswing in his career. Alistair Overy. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times loosely in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our kill of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alistair Arim Overeem. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. You ready? Good. All right, so here is Alistair Overeem. We'll see if we see those improvements in the footwork and the speed here early on in round one. it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Left hook, yep. Here we go, here we go. Nice. Here we go. Nice kick. All right, gets inside. Gets the single collar tie here. Oh, oh big knee! Missed with that right hand. Time kick to the body for the champion. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Side kick, well done. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now we got to find that follow up attempt. The kill shot. That's what they call it, to go and end the fight. Overeem's now switching his stance. Nice jab. 
doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. Single leg. Overeem's in half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Overeem's punch to the body, that one is blocked. Oh! He's hurt bad! Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Lee. Look at the turn in that kick. 20 seconds left. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a Ready flying fight. knee. He propelled Ready. himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect. Got the knee to the target and really did hurt his opponent. Just misses with the right. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar tie. Lee swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. And right into side control. Lee's in half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Oh, guys, start to attack triangle. Oh, inside kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Under three minutes here to go in the round. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Straight right, he misses. Oh, good power with a short shot to the head in the clinch. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Tremendous head kick lands for this guy. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Fighter blocks the punch. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he's... Oh! Look in the clinch there is good by Lee. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning first. Huh. Two rounds in the book. Oh. Play the grappling game. You gotta 
protect yourself. Keep your hands high. Cut those angles. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, a pinpoint strike lands there. And not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see... He's trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. He's got the single collar tie. Very bad. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Oh, these are some... Oh! All right, hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flipping him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the ream. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Big, big shots landed by him now. Overing's back inside control. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Oh. That's three rounds. Oh. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Pitch there. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent. Oh! Oh, you heard him again, bro. 
Cole, roundhouse kick. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. We march on three minutes to go. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Lee's left calf now starting to show signs of bruising, so the calf kicks have started to have an effect. Back and forth we go. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lands the inside leg kick there. Just misses there with the left. Minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Oh! That'll do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. <laughs> Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alistair.